make a garden decoration today and I'm going to show you how to do it. So um, the materials that I've gathered around the house, um, you can you can improvise with these materials, these are just things that I had but I'll explain that as, as we go along. So you need a tin can, um, some double sided tape but you can also use glue, um, a pair of scissors, um, some string, some ribbon, so I've just, I got this from like a cake or something like that and um, well I've used a drill as well, Different, um, I've drilled holes where the base is so they can, four on each side, definitely get help with this part because it's quite difficult to balance the can and drill at the same time, I've just got a wee handheld drill which made it a bit easier but definitely get help with that bit. Um, so, and you also need um, some decorative paper to put around the edge. Um, I'm, I'm using marble paper from my collection, but you can also decorate the paper yourself. Like um, you can use felt tip pens or pens or paint or whatever you have around the house. Or you can use like a magazine picture you like or whatever. Um, so I'm going to use this piece. Um, first you need to, so after your holes have been drilled, um, measure it. So you just measure your can. Let's see. Yeah. Just so you cut the right size. Make sure the line's straight when I'm cutting. And then so that's going to go around like that. Um, be careful when you're handling the can as well, sometimes the inner uh, it can be quite sharp, so just always handle it from this side. Um, so next I'm going to use my double sided tape. Um, you can also use glue, so whatever you've got around the house. Um, as long as the glue is kind of compatible with metal. So I'm just going to... Oh wait. Okay. Step back a bit. So I can't even find a larger pencil, so I'm just going to kind of feel about for it and use my eyes to and my finger to feel for the hole. There it is. There it is. So um, just because my string is quite thick, I'm just going to go over it with a drill again just to make sure there's enough it's going to go through. Depending on what string you have, like you might you probably don't need to do this. I'm going to cut my string. So I've had to use a wee bit smaller string um, because my holes were a wee bit small but um, what you do is cut them to whatever size you like um, and then thread, kind of cut it through the hole. What I've done is I've pulled it through and tied a knot in it and then going to do it, going to attach it to the other side. Tie the knot. Tie, uh, tie the knot a few times so it doesn't come come loose. There it is. So now I'm going to do it um, on the other on on the other two holes as well. I'm going to try and get it the same length. This is a double sided tape coming off and then I'm going to use my bits of ribbon that I've cut each the same size um, and I'm going to stick them on the side where it's hollow so 
on that side um, just kind of as you want them. This ribbon's just a bit frayed but you can you can cut up tissue paper or thin bits of paper and newspaper. Try and hide the frayed bits. And then I'm going to stick down my piece of paper that I cut to size earlier. I'll try and find a straight edge. Um, right. Remember to avoid touching. This part is very short, well this one is anyway, some of them I think mostly are. Okay, and press it all down. I'm just going to cut off this wee extra bit here. Or I could just cut another bit of tape. Stick it down. So now I'm going to, um, so now we re-establish the holes here. So I'm going to use a pencil. Um, well, I need to find a longer pencil. So that's me cut the strings the same size and put the, uh, there's, you can see there's four knots in there. So that's it finished, but you can also add whatever you want to it. You can maybe like add some wee wind chimes or like more decorations. Um, so I'm going to go and hang it in my garden and I'll show you what it looks like. that useful and um, I hope I, I look forward to seeing what everyone else makes the designs like.